Hi everyone, it's Sunday, December 6th. This is the Feast of St. Nick, and ordinarily St. Nick would come by the church to say hello to all the children. Unfortunately, we're not gathering together this Sunday, but St. Nick did come by St. George's and he has a message that he'd like to share with you. Hello everybody. Thank you for being here on my special day. I always love coming to this church, St. George's, on my feast day because your rector, Father Nick, has the same name as me, Nicholas, Bishop Nicholas, St. Nicholas. Sometimes people just call me St. Nick, and that's fine. Uh, my story, which is something that everybody likes to think about on this day, is a story that goes way back in time. I come from the fourth century. That's many, many, many hundreds of years ago. And uh, my story is that I uh, grew up in a town in, uh, uh, in Turkey today, and uh, it's called Myra, so way across the ocean and further than that. And um, I did things when I was a young man that caught people's attention. Some people thought they were strange things to do. Some people thought they were magical things that I did. But they were all things, really, that were meant to get people thinking about God and their relationship with God and how they took care of each other, how they did kind things and, and uh, did honor to God that way. So uh, some of the stories that uh, people like to think about. Um, I was, uh, I was uh, as a young man, traveling in a boat. That's the way you got you know, around for long distances back in those days. And the sailors and me, well, we didn't really get along very well because they were you know, kind of acting up. They were rough. They were swearing. They were, you know, doing bad games with cards and things like that. And uh, they didn't like me very much. In fact, they wanted to toss me overboard. But uh, then a big storm came up and it looked like that boat was going to sink. And as they were being very frightened, I was praying. And, you know, the storm went away, the waters calmed, and everybody ended up being safe. Another story. Uh, there were three little boys in the city of Myra. They got, they got lost, they, they disappeared. And can you imagine how upset their mothers were? Their mothers made a promise uh, to me that you know, they would pray and, and be very good if, uh, if those boys were brought back. And I, I, I was able to pray very hard and, uh, and God answered my prayer and those boys, they came back. To their, to, their, to their mothers, and uh, everybody was very happy about that. So a lot of these stories about me uh, are about my relationship with children and how uh, children especially appreciated me. Another good story, uh, there was a man, uh, his wife had passed away, and uh, he had three daughters, three girls, and they were very, very poor people. And you know, when people don't have a lot of money, sometimes they, they, they do things that, uh, that they wouldn't otherwise have to do. And this man, very desperate, thought that he would have to sell his daughters so that they would go and work for somebody else, take money for them so that he could, uh, he could live. And of course, I didn't want much to do with that. So, in the middle of the night, I snuck by their house and I tossed little bags of gold, you see, like this, gold coins, into their house and that enabled them uh, to be uh, very uh, prosperous and uh, uh, not, not, be, not, not think about having to do such awful things to each other. So uh, that, that story is uh, one that people especially like to remember when they're celebrating my day because they like to give gifts to children. And um, usually when I come here to St. George's, uh, I, I meet some children. 
And I give them candy and uh, little, little clementine oranges and, uh, and even some chocolate gold coins, not real gold, just chocolate, uh, so to, to remember me by. That last story too, sometimes uh, people think of that story when they're thinking about another saintly, kindly figure with a big belly and a big white beard that we often call Santa Claus. And uh, he comes down the chimney and leaves presents, doesn't he? Sort of like me, uh, but not me. This is my day, and uh, I thought uh, you would enjoy hearing those stories about me. Next year, when things are better, I look so forward to seeing you and some children in person so that I can tell my stories and give you some gifts. So, happy St. Nicholas Day, everybody. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.